Yes, yes, I'm on my way. Just a moment.
Сергей is waiting for us. Seriously, Serdar, who sleeps during the day? And yes, I know, there is no difference between day and night down here. Quest, and we'll ensure your wife and kid are protected. That's not the part that worries me. You're scared? What if I am? We all oh. are. Good, Good day. day. Which is why I'll be waiting for you at the barracks. Doctor. Hello. on one of our guard bosses. We are preparing a team to take them down. So everyone's a bit tense, as you might imagine. yourself too much, always sitting with your books, even talking you into getting a drink is tough. Lighten up a bit, man. Yeah, or you'll just end up all alone. I appreciate the advice. Waiting for. No. 
grab the explosive. Do we rely on our eyes too much? Are we too convinced that the things we can see are real and those we can't see are not? What's true darkness? And what's true blindness? Open your eyes and you shall see. Or you shall not. Sometimes one must get into an utter darkness in order to begin to see. We avoid the darkness because it hides things that may be too horrible for us even to imagine. It's the unspeakable that scares us. The unspeakable that the darkness holds within. It's the asset that corrodes the limits of the world. We think we know. When the entire world gets immersed in the dark, you can't avoid it any longer. You can only embrace it. Say something. Are you okay? I've been yelling at you, but you just kept standing there, staring off into space. Vlad thought you were one of those boogeymen the exhibition guys were babbling about. He almost shot you. I'm fine. I just had the strangest feeling of deja vu for a moment. Deja vu, eh? Isn't that what they call it when you experience a memory from a past life? Past life? It's a misfiring of electrical discharges in your brain, causing an illusion, nothing more. <laughs> if you say so... Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back home. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. Turn the key to start the trolley. Be safe, sir. I'll be all right.
God, you are back. Max has been up my butt asking where you are literally every five minutes. Tasha, treating drunken merchants for radiation sickness rarely goes as planned. He said to send you down to the mushroom farm as soon as you turned up. And word of warning, our station chief is not in one of his better moods. <laughs> I look forward to seeing one of those firsthand someday. Life has thrown at us since. But you tell me, where is everybody? I don't mean Moscow or Russia. I mean the world. We're down here, pacing all over each other's territory, like metro station is the goddamn winter palace or something. Even under the surface, it's not like we're hard to find. But you're telling me not one plane survived on the entire planet? No one's ever figured out how to contact a single satellite? Or me? Just... Oh, hey, Sardar. Max isn't in his office. If you go through the living quarters, you might still catch him. Stripes on the back. 
since people keep walking into them at night. Are you kidding? We just painted them. And oh, hey, hey, Zeta. Have you talked to Max yet? I heard there's trouble in my No, I'm on my way to see him now. Oh, good. Uh, if you went that way. Hey! Max, Serdar's here. One sec. Yeah, yeah, send him in. out of this place with your own two hands. You check them again. That girl had to go somewhere. I gotta go. Max out. You want to switch jobs? Maybe you should chase runaways and assholes all day and let me run around playing doctor for a while. I've got a very healthy list of people I'd like to stab with a needle, let me tell you. I think you may want to work on your bedside manner. Don't even start. You and your wife are not my favorite people right about now. Yana, has something happened? Has something happened? He asks. If by something, do you mean, did your wife destroy our mushroom farm because she heard the voice of her dead son again? Because if so, then yes, something happened. Uh, is she all right? She's a lot better than her mushroom farm. Fuck! And there's more in there where that came from. Five years to build this steam system. Hundreds of issues to consider. You know what scenario never came up? What if you can't hear the voices of the dead inside their pipes? I don't understand. Yana was doing so well. <sighs> I'll take care of it, I promise. Yeah, well, promised 500 times already. I'm up to my eyeballs in bullshit today, so I don't need any more, okay? Sorry. Go, go check on your wife. But then, you come see me. Friend or not, this station is my wife. This has to be the end of it.
Dr. Iskandero, sorry you had to jump across the cattle, but you can imagine who you have to thank for that one. I miss my calling as an interior decorator. Perhaps. Hey, go on then. I know you're dying to start doctoring me. Max said you got pet. Do you feel up to tell him? Do you is the question. Stop taking my yellow pedigree. Keep in mind, I was still taking them when I decided to stop. We've been through this. Please, Serdar, it hurt me. Your meds didn't make me lucid. On the contrary, they kept obscuring my ability to hear, but I was so desperate to hear. Huh? Hallucinations are not trivial. You are to assume are hallucinations. You hear voices. No one else. The fact that you won't even consider any alternative is the reason I threw the Heloperidol out in the first place. You threw them away? None of you have ever heard Petya's voice, so how can you know what I'm hearing? Because he died, Yana. He died, Yana, 15 years ago. And you can't hear an eight-year-old boy for 15 years. Where's the shuttle? Back there, through the vents. Max mentioned the young girl disappeared from the station. Could you have overheard someone discussing? No, mister. There has to be a reason for everything. I didn't hallucinate my son's voice because of a bunch of gossiping busybodies. For all things, there is an explanation. Even the ones too terrible to accept. 
I can't exactly tell that to Petya, can I? I'm sorry. It wasn't fair. Not when you're only caring for me. My love is not something you ever have to apologize for. It is free. God, you're sappy. Go on. Run back to your boyfriend, Max. I heard him whining for you to go see him once you made sure I wouldn't burn anything else down. I think I've earned a little hard labor. Just give me some time, okay? That did something. Looks like I can reduce some of the pressure from here. You saw what happened at the farm, then. It's being taken care of. Thanks. He's back. He's up in the office. Hello. I believe you called for a doctor. I don't hear a knock on the door. You're a child. I'm the boss. The way this jungle is growing, we may never have to repopulate the surface. I doubt God invented plastic with nuclear winter in mind, but hey, a fake garden is better than no garden at all, eh? How is Yana? Pretending her husband isn't a hot-headed, insensitive ass. You know what? Good. Say stupid shit more often. Your two are so lovey-dovey as it is. I, I, I literally throw up in my desk at least once a day. She was trying so hard to be reasonable. My friend, I've watched you both in your several lifetimes worth of bullshit just to try and make her feel halfway human again. Trust me, your wife knows that. Let us hope so. In any event, the more pressing concern is that it appears Yana has... Uh, run out of a haloperidol. That's why she lost her edge. Uh, you and bad timing, pal. The stalker who tracks down your fancy medical stuff, very talented lady I used to run with, named Nata. She was supposed to make a delivery over a week ago, which is long enough that I think I may have to strike Nata out of my little romantic birthdays calendar, if you know what I mean. Though, I do know the route she usually takes. Could the medication still be there somewhere? The goddamn Holy Grail could be there. Max, 
Why don't you just tell me where the route is? Because you'll go. And from here, the first thing you'll hit is a Nosalis Den. That's probably the most relaxing part of the trip. You forget, I am not, shall we say, inexperienced when it comes to Nosalis. Oh, right. You're all stationed. Sorry. Um, anyway, normally I'd uh, hire some poor suckers to go, but since we're running low on poor suckers right now, my lovely voice in your ear will have to do. Stick it to your shoulder like this. Voice activated. State of the art. When there was a state of the art. It's almost like living in the future. And for times when my wisdom alone does not suffice. I've heard they don't do much without those bullets. <laughs> you want an empty clip just to look cool? Be my guest. Go on, smart guy. Take it. Yes, I know. Very pretty. Now do me a favor and holster it while you're in the station. Okay, cowboy? We have to at least pretend we are civilized down here. Lucky for you, the same supply cart that dropped Gorky Park off here is still uh, out on the station. And since nobody killed Akim on his way back here, his spare ammo should still be in the trolley as well. Max, you there? One sec. Truck two, call me when you find the ammo. Okay, I'm here. Let me find the ledger. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I know. Wait, let me check. Hey, Serdar! Are you sure you don't want to let Yana know you're leaving? I'm sure. Alright, your call. few bottles, you know, give you something to shoot at. Show me that Tokarev Max gave you. Next, grab this magazine and insert it into your Tokarev. Go on, get a feel for the trigger. shots down the gun sights. It'll help your aim. Now grab this magazine and store it. Last thing you want is to run into some lurkers with an empty gun. Thank you. 
I don't know if you handled that kind of trolley before, but Akim was complaining it's hard to start. <clears throat> Admittedly, Akim is an idiot. Yana won't like that you left without a word. I've burdened my wife enough. Hey, give yourself some credit. The day is still young. Just focus on getting your wife's meds. Right. Where do I find her? Not on her caravan. Avoided a lot of metros, less desirable elements by taking a route that's a bit, shall we say, off the beaten path. Hope you're in the mood for a little sightseeing. For a pillar of the community, you certainly do have some colorful associates. And to think, you gave up the romantic life of a stock. To get off the surface? You're damn right! Imagine the worst hell hole of a station you've ever lived in. That's still a day spa compared to the kind of shit I went through out there. Quite like you said, surface is hell nowadays. You guys do live in paradise. The end of the line is fast approaching, my friend. About time. Head over across the other set of tracks. You should find a reinforced door off to your left. I know the filters. built in the 60s. Some impressive equipment here. The museum kept a backup generator for security and stuff like that. Which museum? The Tretyakov? Yana and I went on our first date here. Well, before you get too misty-eyed, Nata's route doesn't go through the museum itself. Still, I haven't been here since, well, since before Yana and I split back then. We met when we were in university. I picked the museum for our date because I felt I needed to come across as uh, more refined. Right, because everyone thinks you're such a savage.
the entrance to the archives is a couple levels above you, on the opposite side of the escalators. I remember waiting for Yana at the top of those escalators. We agreed to meet here at noon. I'm there waiting, watching face after face rise in front of me over the top of the escalator. I waited three hours, and at 3.06, I get a tap on my shoulder. And there's Yana, behind me, with her arm in a sling. So in other words, neither of you knew how to take a hint. She called us stubborn 